Welcome back to championships of the NCAA live in Fayetteville, Arkansas. Highly anticipated men's 100 meter final. Men's team standings, Oregon and LSU all locked up, 20 points apiece. Arkansas is in third with 18. Out on the track. This is always a headliner. The men's 100 meters, collegiate record, Travis Paget and Richard Thompson. Trendon Holiday, the best mark this year. Collegiately, Holiday. Well, he's got a very impressive resume, and it's not limited to track and field. Returning punts, wide receiver, kick returner for LSU, and blazing speed to boot. Young man is simply one of the best in the country on the gridiron and on the track. All he has not done yet in this historic career at LSU is to win that individual title indoors or out. Well, the battle will be with the 2009 East Regional Champion from Clemson, Jacoby Ford, wearing the orange and blue, running out of lane six. He's a sophomore. And Jacoby Ford did defeat Trenton Holiday indoors. Gerald Peary from Texas A&M. And if you're looking for a spoiler, Peary could provide it out of lane four. Trenton Holiday and... Jacoby Ford, I am start very, very well. D'Angelo Cherry out of lane oh, seven. He's only a freshman for Mississippi State. Ran a 10.04 in prelims. So you have two blazing, blazing starters in lane five and six. Here's the difference. Trendon Holiday usually gets out, but his weak point of the race is within the last third. I think that gives Jacoby Ford the edge. So the race strategy for Trendon Holiday on your right has to be, listen, I have to put so much of a gap between myself and Ford and then relax myself to the finish. If I tighten up tonight, Ford is going to go right by me, as he did in the indoor version at 60 meters. Holiday finished second in this event in 2007, losing out to Walter Dix. He finished third in 2008. The LSU junior out of lane four. And it plays the men's 100 meter final. Trenton Holiday looking for his national championship. And Holiday blows away the field. All five feet, six inches of it. Dragon Rex belongs to Holiday. And he has finally done it after all the promise that he has shown in three years at LSU. He not only won this race, he had to do it from behind because his start totally betrayed him this evening. And he has yet another 10 flat to his credit. So he would have loved another 10. He did not get a good start. You see him there, fifth from the left. And Jacoby Ford was out very, very well. But midway, Ford pulled up. And Trendon Holiday kept his eye on that finish line, put his head down right there, and was able to secure, secure the win in a very, very good time of 10 flat. As Ian said, this gentleman is only 5 foot 6 inches tall. That is a lot of running to be able to run 10 flat when you're that high. A very, very complete race from Trendon Holiday. And he's got his national championship in the men's 100 meters. Let's go down to Dwight. All right, Ian, I'm making him look 6 feet tall right now with Trendon. This, you've been looking for this individual title for a long time, and 10 flat, not a bad time either. Oh, no, not a bad time. I've been looking for him for four years. Uh, I just told my sister to be missing this morning. Come out and win a good race. You're going to get serious this time and try to make a world championship team? Represent the U.S. overseas? Oh, yeah, I'm going to get serious, man. I'll try to make a team. All right, nice. That's much better than the last two years. Congratulations. Trendon Holiday. Mighty might. 10 flat. And he's got the men's 100 meter championship. Amon Rashad from USC, no relation, finishes second. And Gerald Peary from Texas AM gets six big points for the Aggies. Start to finish now, Otto, take us through it for Trendon Holiday. You know, Ian, when you're watching, this may seem like this goes on very, very quickly. But in the mind of a sprinter, it actually is very, very long. This is the start. Look at Trendon Holiday. He is right 
here. He usually is up on the field at this point, and I thought he was in a lot of trouble. His start was not the best. His dry phase was decent. And at this stage, he is just about even with the field. Jacoby Ford probably has a slight lead to his right. This is the part of the race at which they all hit their top end speed. You see Jacoby Ford pull out at this point, and that leaves Trendon Holiday now with just one phase left because he has now seized control, and now all he has to do is hold on for the finish, and he has probably the best finish of his life. He ties Usain Bolt's time yesterday in Toronto, 10 flat. So the 6'5 guy and the 5'6 guy both run 10 flat flat on successive days, only in track and field. Trendon Holiday, second place in this event two years ago, third place last year. Now he's got it all to himself. The 2009 outdoor champion in the 100 meter final. I really thought that Trendon Holiday was going to have to have a good start. He did not, but what he is now, because he is an sprinter he is patient and look at the patience he's not worried about what's going on around him he has his eyes on the finish line and that patience rewards him with a personal best and his first NCAA title LSU now in front with 30 points Friday is a holiday here in Fayetteville I couldn't help myself